I don't want to eat this pizza anymore. <laughs> There's your thumbnail. <laughs> Time to clock in. Alright, so you missed this. <laughs> so you can't have them anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's incredible. <laughs> wow. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Michael. Michael. Time to clock in. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the night shift. You're working late and so are we, it's time to clock in. We're working early, actually. I wanted to show you guys what a day in my life actually looks like. No bullshit, no burger reviews, a full on day, start to fucking finish. Maria is one of the only people here in the morning. What usually happens around this hour? Only Mike comes down over 9 a.m. for his coffee. For my coffee. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to say hi to anybody. The first thing I do in the morning is I get my coffee from the coffee machine. A little close up of that liquid fucking gold right there. It's a little different than what you used to do to get you going, huh? No more fucking crack. Oh, Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, Bluetooth. <laughs> Logan's not awake yet. He's still sleeping. He'll sleep till about 10 a.m. roughly. And then he gets up, he comes out, and he starts boxing. So I'll come sit over here and I'll start checking emails. By this time, I've already got probably about 50 fucking texts backed up from when I went to sleep last night. Sometimes I'll put the phone down, sip my coffee, and enjoy the Southern California sunshine. Okay. Stay away from my fucking bald spot, David. All right, be quiet. Amber's sleeping. She looks like a pile of mashed potatoes. If I didn't wake her up, she'd sleep till like 12 30. Babe, 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 babe. She, she's Ow! <laughs> babe, I got you coffee. Cough, cough. Mm. You want kisses? Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, I gotta go. Okay, here's your coffee. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Every day I like to do a few activities that make me feel a little bit more manly. First, I hit the gym and train chest. <laughs> I haven't trained legs in so long, it feels like I'm walking on toothpicks. Then I like to go in the backyard and roll around with the pigs. That's right, we have pigs in our backyard. Finally, I like to take an outdoor shower using freezing cold water. Yeah, this water's cold as fuck. And this is when I break out the Dr. Squatch all natural soap. This soap's the exact opposite of whatever fruity concoction your girlfriend uses before she hits the farmer's market. This is the soap made for the great outdoors. The soap made for football Sundays. This is the soap made for men. Plus their soap comes in manly scents like wood barrel bourbon and pine tar. So stop using that same soap you've been using since high school and upgrade your shower game. Click the link in the description below to get your own Dr. Squatch soap and save money with my exclusive discount. What's that incredible smell? That's the smell of a man. Mm. He wants my flashlight so he can- No, 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 David, no. David. I asked for a flashlight because she got the plug. It's been a fucking year, so give me something. Babe, he wants mine. Dick. Th that is weird. That seems kind of strange. I think like, can you just go with some, any other? I just don't feel comfortable with the idea of you having oh, you sex with my girlfriend my, synthetic. Oh, my. She even said Elza Jean. She's like, you would like Elza. My, my. Also, okay, how would you know what I like? I don't anyone else's flashlight. Second of all, my ex-husband's brother used to use my flashlight. That's disgusting. This is all fucked up. I'm not comfortable with this conversation. I'm leaving. Are you still looking for an assistant? I'm looking for an assistant, a videographer, and an editor still. All they, of those things. They right? all have to be male. The assistant should be a female. No. I'm just kidding. It's the 21st assistant. century. It should be a male assistant and a female I'm videographer. Sorry, but you're not Power to no, the fucking women. Not, Shut your giant. Not, you're not all right, let's go. More, you're not spending more time with another woman than you spend with me. It would be an assistant. I don't care. Then she'll be with you all the time. Why don't you be my assistant? I'll be, yeah, I'll be your assistant. Would then. you dress like a sexy assistant? See, I'll pay why you what? Assistant nothing. Have to be sex okay, it's definitely gonna be a male. Why did I say that? That's another part of my day, saying things that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> why are you leaving right now? Yes, what the yeah. fuck did she just say? What was that? Okay, okay, can you just give me my kisses so I can leave? No sexy assistant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that that's over, 12 p.m., back to the day. I'll probably get back on the computer for a little bit now, maybe plan out a Twitch stream, probably work on some brand deals that you might see in this episode of The Night Shift. What is Harry Jowsey's user base of, like, his demo? Do we know? Yeah, he said it was, like, 65% female, which was more than enough for us to do some demo posts. With the intent of getting female users on the app. Yeah, he said he'd be exclusive to Lolly. Basically, what's happening right now is I'm talking to my business partners on this dating app. It's called the Lolly app. You could actually get it in the app store right now. We're looking for the face of the brand. At any second, I can get pride from my calls to do something I completely do not want to fucking do, like this. The 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Yeah! Yeah!
Now I walked straight out of that disaster, filming God knows what with confetti cannons. And now I'm about to go live for the Overtime Crew at OTCrew.com. Yo, welcome to the first ever OT Crew live stream here in the Overtime Crew. Straight into a fucking impulsive episode. This one with Rob Gronkowski was playing in the Super Bowl this Sunday on the weekend that you're seeing this. You're literally gonna watch it start. Audio from the computer, ready to rock. Hey boys, good to see you. Does that mean you will not be at Shrine Nightclub this time after Super Bowl number six dropping 100 G's in the club? That's after the Super Bowl, so you never know what may happen. <laughs> 6.45 p.m. now. I'm currently working on a script for an ad deal that I'm doing in the next Night Shift video. I'm gonna switch over and it's into Twitch mode. I'll stream from probably now until about midnight. If you want this fucking life, you gotta be ready to go fucking crazy, y'all. Don't fucking give up. Who's your next guest on Impulsive? Corinna Alright guys, at the end of a long day, we like to unwind here in the Maverick Kitchen. My girlfriend just came over dressed as a Los Angeles Dodgers player. Where's Pizza. The garlic knots? Oh, they're right there. Or wait, no, where are they? You didn't bring them? Are you on acid, honestly? Okay. Alright, so she brought over pizza from this place, Mulberry Street Pizza, which is probably the only decent pizza place in all of LA. Let's do the grand reveal. David, also, it's pizza. It's not schnitzel, dude. You don't oh, know nice. anything about pizza. <laughs> That's a good looking That's fucking good pie. Looking. You know it's a good place when they put the little picnic table in the middle of the pie. Just because the day has ended for us, there's one person in the house that's still working. Let's bring a piece of pizza. Logan, I brought you a slice of pie from Mulberry Street Pizza. Wow. What are you doing? Looking at a piece of pizza, it looks like my flaccid penis. <laughs> <laughs> but on my computer, I'm editing uh, the Pokemon video that it might have already come out by the time this video is out. It's getting saggier as time goes on. You know when you lay down and I put one hand there and the other hand right in between your rectum? That's what I do to you. I don't want to eat this pizza anymore. All right, listen. <laughs> This is your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all haven't yet, sign up for Mike's new club. The Overtime Crew. Overtime Crew, it's at otcrew.com. Yeah, it's a great place to be. He sends messages to everyone in the club. I've also sent nudes of my girlfriend. <laughs> oh. oh. I, I didn't do that, I didn't do that, that's a joke. Amra Maple also recently started her own podcast called Three Girls, One Kitchen. I, I saw it. All yeah. she does is talk shit about you on there. <laughs> yep, that's correct. No. <laughs> David! Yes. I found these cupcakes in my room. Also, who are these two ladies in your uh, bed? Don't worry about that. Wait, are you into butter? Oh, oh, my god. God. oh my god. Oh! It was a reflex. Was Wait, like... why did you just do hey, that? This is a reflex. It was like 40 seconds later. <laughs> why did you knock his camera 12 Cause, minutes cause I, after he did I didn't that? I can't like that. I hope your phone broke. For what? For for scaring people. Don't scare me anymore, Joy. You scare got me it? every time I see you. Oh me. my god, she got him again. <laughs> back to this situation, David. Uh, back to why do you have two this is good ladies no, in your bed? David's scared of butt stuff. I told him he needs to shed his toxic masculinity, allow the butt stuff, so we got him cupcakes. David, what are the chances you are going to find a finger in your butthole in the next 24 hours? Babe, you should give him some tips. I do it to you all the time. Yeah. Easy champ. There you have it. A day in the life of Mike Malak. Now it's time for the bedtime routine. Smoochies. Mike's favorite part of the day. All right, all right, all right, that's enough. We're obviously coming down to the end of another episode of The Night Shift, so it seems like a good time to say, if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. Other than that, thank you so much for working late with us. We are clocking, clocking out. out. Peace. So in case you're wondering why Logan keeps you around, that's why I'm a fucking problem solver. Yo, how, is, how do fake boobs get saggy? That's the smell of a man. Mm. <laughs>